when you were working on your fifth album, you said it was like fully inspired by Janet Jackson. Um, mm -hmm. What's the inspiration for like what you're working on now? Um, kind of just like gossip, I think. Um. <laughs> So thank you so much for the time. It's great to, uh, first of all, meet you and get to talk to you about everything going on. Um, yeah, what's what's new? Where you been? Where are you coming back from? And uh, what you working on? What's new? Uh, I, feel, I feel like I've been on a kind of Euro trip <laughs> for the past month. I've been sort of running around at fashion weeks doing, yeah, very like highbrow and important things. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> but, um, no, it's here. been fun. I've just been like partying, to be honest. So I'm absolutely exhausted um and yeah I'm kind of just back at home and I've been working on a record for kind of the the whole year so I'm I'm kind of in that zone really just like studio zone and listening to a lot of demos and yeah that kind of thing and it's yeah. nice it's my favorite part of the whole thing I do so I love this part Amazing. How, how is it for you with Fashion Weeks? Do you like that stuff? Because I've gotten to, um, my girlfriend was in Paris for it. And I think she mentioned like, hey, Charlie XCX is at this one. I was like, no way. Mm -hmm. uh, is it like, I, I feel like people don't eat, which is terrible. And the days are like 12 hours. Like, um, how's your experience with it? Are you like, um, you really into the fashion world and you enjoy it? Yeah, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. I love when a show is like a show, you know? Um, and it's fun when there are like, friends there who you know and you can like go and be silly and have fun the not eating thing is true and that's not like a like skinny thing I think it's just like the I'm... schedules are like crazy like go from here to here to here to here so the entire time I'm in Paris all I ate was McDonald's which is like like crazy like I'm in Paris I'm supposed to be eating like the you best. know the best like most chic gorgeous food ever and I'm just like having McDonald's at 5 a.m every night um but no it's really fun and it's it's nice when you know there's like real people there you know like people you know and you can kind of like go and like be I just like creating mischief and troubles I've been wanting to talk about this ever since like I've you know just like heard about you and all this stuff like charlie xcx being your hotmail screen name i think that's so underrated where everyone should have either an alter ego or something like that i've always wanted to do music mine was kitty kitty 247 um Ooh, that sounds very emo that could have been like an emo band you know yeah. hey it's not too late i could still yeah. do the hair and the yeah do it when you did you have myspace and if you did do you remember what like your song was when you, people would visit your page yeah, I did have MySpace, but I had like, um, I had like, I was putting music on MySpace. So, like your own. yeah, yeah. So that's kind of how I started. I was like uploading my music to MySpace and I had some real bad songs. Um, and unfortunately, they're like still all on the internet. But I did like a cover of like Soldier Boy's Crank Dat. And that <laughs> yeah. was, yeah, that was so bad. But um, yeah, it's it's out there. So yeah, you know. Um, so I didn't have the like choice song, but it probably would have been Soldier Boy. Yeah. If it did. <laughs> well, congrats on the song Speed Drive. I feel like that was such an unexpected su like surprise. Um, it's also very dangerous to drive to because it just makes you want to just you know go fast. Like yeah, yeah, get arrested. Why not? What should people be doing in their cars while they're listening to Speed Drive? um i don't know i mean i don't want to encourage like any kind of like you know accidents on the roads but i think definitely like windows down car full of friends um you know probably like making tiktoks but not if you're driving you know it's like a cute like you want to feel cute when you listen to speed drive and you want to like have your like hair blowing in the wind it's like that kind of song i think I see it I feel it too. I was doing it yesterday. I, I agree. You're doing it perfectly. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Before the pandemic hit, um, when you were working on your fifth album, you said it was like fully inspired by Janet Jackson. Um, mm -hmm. What's the inspiration for like what you're working on now? Um, Kind of just like gossip, I think. Um, yeah, uh, that I think that's it really. Like gossip and partying and just like, saying things how it is you know I think um I was talking with a friend about this the other day I feel like we're about to like enter this kind of era of pop music where lyrically things change from being these kind of like 
overly like flowery kind of metaphorical like words into lyrics that you would literally like say in a text to a friend like very blunt very upfront very to the point um so I think that's kind of the direction that I'm moving in another one that you were part of was to die for I mean I love this song so much oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah yeah. Was that that was like almost never happened. Was it a nice surprise to have it released? Yes, it was funny. I'm I'm really happy that it came out because there was a point where I was like, I might leak this and not tell Addison because <laughs> I was like, it's so good. And she was she was kind of like back and forth on whether she like wanted to like do you know put music out like, and I was like girl this is really cool like and all her music is so cool like I, I even when we were in the studio making it she was like playing me all these demos and I was like this is so good like she I, I just think she's such an awesome person and her taste level is like off the charts she she really she really gets it you know um and so when that when there was this like moment where like the music wasn't going to come out I was like I might just have to like be the girl who leaks it but I'm happy I didn't do that and it just came out the way she wanted it to but yeah um it's fun I, I really I can't say enough good things about her she's such an amazing person um and I'm so happy for all her success and I'm happy to be a part of um a small part of her music yeah sounds almost too much like a coincidence but we'll leave it at that like <laughs> yeah right 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 yeah I leaked it sorry it's <laughs> Friday the 13th is coming up. It's kind of fun that it's in October. It's an extra spooky Friday the 13th being here. Also, Taylor's Eras Tour movie comes out that day. Uh, getting to perform on the Reputation Tour, was it like any surprise at how huge and massive the Eras Tour was? Uh, the Eras Tour? Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, she's like the biggest artist in the world. Wouldn't it be funny if she just did 500 cap venues? Of course, it's going to be the biggest tour in the world. Like. She's Taylor Swift. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I think she makes music that just the people just connect with, like on such a grand scale. Um, and yeah, I mean, no, I mean, the reputation tour that I was on was already huge. And I mean, it just feels like monolithic in a way. Um, so no, I, I'm not, not surprised at all. I, I mean, she's she's massive so yeah I think it's it's amazing that she's doing such like huge 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 shows and people obviously like absolutely adore them and and that's amazing absolutely well I can't wait to hear what you have coming out soon good luck on you know working on the album all the other fun projects you have with it being October do you have any fun Halloween plans like what's what are you looking forward to Oh my god, I am not even ready for Halloween yet. Um I I need some costume tips. I haven't even like haven't gone there. I'm like I'm just I'm so lazy right now. Like maybe I should go as some kind of like dead girl so I can just like lie down at a party the entire time. That's kind of like where I'm at right now. Just wake up from a nap and show up to the party be like I'm a zombie. What can I say? Yeah. Bags are no, no. wake up. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for the time. It was really cool getting to meet you and catch up on everything. And hopefully we get to do it again soon. Thank you. You too.